going through a process of explaining a little bit about the NXT. Hopefully this will work. Right now you'll notice that there is a flashing light. This particular unit is in standby. The other unit is a blue, which means it is online. And right now, if you were to try to find out how much water is being used, you'll push the D button and you'll look and see that you're running about 171 gallons per minute. This happens to be a unit that is 150 GPM. So the service line flow control valve may be just a little bit bigger in the orifices, allowing about the same amount through the vessel also depending on the pressure. If you were curious about how much left in terms of peak load, the peak flow rate in this one was 200. So at one point they opened up this soft water bypass, which is the red valve, ball valve, to include a little bit more water for their system. And then again, if you were looking for the accumulation, this is the number of gallons that has gone through this unit which is 15,986,000 gallons and then push D to get back to the normal side. I have already fixed the time on this one. The time is correct. Again, blue is operational. If we come over here, we'll see a flashing green light. The flashing green light is indication of the unit in standby. Since the time is flashing, that means that this particular lost this particular NXT controller lost power for just a few moments. So you simply just use the up arrow key and that'll give you, in fact, you cannot do it on this one. That's why I wanted to show you that. You have to set it on the unit number one. So that goes back to normal operation. And at the end of the day, that'll be going back to the normal screen. You will notice the time uh, now is similar to that of the time that's on the first unit. So we never really got a chance to show you how to set the time, except what we can do is simply set it for a minute later if necessary. By pushing the up arrow key, you get an opportunity to change the time. You can just go back and forth and make it uh, 10 o'clock a.m. or go back to 11. Again, pushing it, m moving it back and forth. We can change it back down to uh, 10.50 a.m. and that'll be the same. So if we check the watch, it is close to, I would say, uh, 11.49, so that's what we have seen. So let's leave that alone. You'll notice that over time, it'll revert back to where it was. So, coming back over here, in order to program the unit, you need to go back to the first primary unit in order to do the programming for the system. So let's go back to the first primary unit. It is in perfect working order, but I want to show you how this is done you utilize the arrow going to the left, which is the shift arrow and the up key together for five seconds, and that will produce a, <clears throat> a um, language first, of course. This is part of the uh, RP, or the, excuse me, the um, regeneration guide, uh, PG. So now what we'll do is we'll go through the steps one by one using the down arrow key, English, Espanol, if you want to change it all by going back to English is what we want. So the next thing we want to do is utilize the uh, arrow key to go through each step. So I'm not going to change anything here, but this particular unit is a system type 7 alternating. Address valve happens to be 1. There's two valves associated with this particular unit, meaning it's a dual alternating system. The water uh, regeneration is immediate. When it goes to zero, it will immediately regenerate. At this point, this is a 3900 valve. This is a 150 unit, as you can see. And then we'll go to, it's an upflow regenerate. Uh, the remote signal in this one is off. The US gallons is what we're using. This one has a unit capacity of a million and 26,000 and I went through too fast there but anyway feed water hardness in this case is 23 gallons per minute so now we go to the cycle number one which is pause and delay then you have cycle number two which is the in this case is really 
on the 2000 and the 2900 is the first uh, step and that's cycle one. So this is cycle two, your brine and slow rinse. In this case, it's up to one hour. And this is the backwash cycle. Again, this is upflow, five minutes. And the rapid rinse, which is one minute, is cycle number four on this one. And cycle five on this particular unit is the brine tank refill for 17 minutes. So as it draws brine in the first, or in this case, the second cycle, it'll push back the 17 gallons into the vessel. And that is essentially it. We'll go through and the auxiliary relay here has been disabled because we're not utilizing it. We are using the chemical pump uh, relay to uh, monitor the water meter on this particular unit, a large, larger different than your normal HES meter. As we go along, we will go through and notice that the chemical pump in this case, we can either enable it or disable it, but we'll leave it as enabled. So then go back to the regen button for the next step. You'll notice here that um, the volume being registered by that meter is 10 gallons. And then the auxiliary relay here is it's, it's every two minutes is registering. Uh, it's a flow meter, it's generic, and it is 200 gallon per minute flow meter and for add every 10 gallons for every 195 pulses on this particular unit. This is a separate uh, water meter than the standard HES meter. So I will do another video on a standard HES meter. The next step would be to looking and then it's finished with the programming guide. You'll notice it's online and when you know that, that there is flow is when this line here in operation when it is rotating, it is flowing to check and see. In this particular case, it's slowing down. The amount of water needed in the tower is lowered, obviously. And then you're back to normal. And that's it. Hopefully that'll help the programming guide or the programming steps for the NXT 3900 valve.